Too far to touch and close enough to feel expresses the complicated emotions that occur while we grieve. The exhibition is inspired by my dear late friend, Lydia Byrne. Lydia Byrne was a friend, a daughter, a sister, and an artist. This exhibition will feature Lydia Byrne's work. Here is an example of one of her multimedia pieces. It contains layered works, which create a spectacle which is hard to look away from. There are six other artists featured in the exhibit, including Dan Flavin, Nana Power, Nikki St. Filet, Ives Klein, and Louis Burgess, all of whom are deceased. All of the pieces in the exposition contain pink hues to represent the sunset. An example of this can be seen in Ives Klein's The Pink of Blue, which contains a variety of pink, which represent the multitude of shades found in the sunset during the night sky. Sunsets symbolize a beautiful goodbye. They are short-lived and force us to appreciate the moment which stands before us. The pink sky can be seen as the brief moment of happiness before a treacherous night when dealing with grief. Lydia was Odessa's biggest supporter, and because of this, I cannot imagine a more perfect environment to showcase the unique exhibition other than Odessa's upcoming tour, starting in August and ending in October. The exhibition could serve as a resting area for tired concert attendees to bond and enjoy the moment. The demographic of Odessa would enjoy the unique exhibition. Most fans are considered ravers, and ravers are known for their interest in enticing videos, cool music, cool lights and friendly environment created when people of different walks of life come together in common interest. Too far to touch and close enough to feel a piece appeals to these desires. A quieter resting place to talk allows for farther communication with new and old friends away from the intense beats. This appeals to the raver's desire for a sense of community. Dave Flavin's untitled work provides the aspect of cool lighting. His sculptures would illuminate the other exhibitions with sunset glow, attracting members of the rave community. Busy, intricate work appeals to the demographics of interest in cool visuals. Pieces like Alive by Lydia Byrne hold the viewer's attention with layered patterns and images. Odessa's music is centered around the contrast of the intense message in, ma in majestic background noise. The exhibition follows the same goals by representing the emotion of grief through the beauty of the sunset. Each painting is dominated with the color of pink to exude the theme. Um, sunsets are a per perfect re reflection of a sad but beautiful goodbye, um, similar to the complicated feelings of momentary comfort when grieving a loss. One of their most recent songs is titled The Last Goodbye. W Despite the hypnotizing background and fud editing, the lyrics of the song depict a woman begging her lover to let her down easy. The song addresses how both beauty and pain can exist at the same time. Pieces in the exhibition showcase the same idea. This can be seen in Lydia Byrne's piece, Bite Back. The use of color creates a sense of chaos for the background of the painting. It contains layered patterns and shapes with almost hit hypnotize the viewer into observing the piece for a second longer. The chaos is by all definitions beautiful. It draws a parallel to the alternating intense beats found in Odessa's music. In addition, this piece utilizes contrast. The white lettering stands strong against the high value colors which are used in the background of the piece. The white lettering reads, I was not born to be soft and quiet. This quote questions the expectation of women to blend in and obey. The deliberate nature of the quote can be compared to the serious lyric found in much of Odessa's music. This combination of seriousness and beauty can also be found in the overall theme of the exhibition. The, ju the juxtaposition represents the communications that come along with celebrating a life and grieving a loved one simultaneously. Lydia knew every one of Odessa's songs and proudly shared them with the world by blasting them from her Jeep. Lydia did not get the privilege of hearing the most recent album of her favorite band due to her early demise. This traveling exposition would give her the chance to be a part of the upcoming tour. Thank you.